Hello everyone, I am back again with another video for you all and today's video is going to be on some of my hair products that I've really been loving and really enjoying using, so please stay tuned. So the first product that I'm going to show you guys is a product that I have in my hair right now. My hair is so wet, I just washed it and I decided to do a wash and go for a few reasons which I'll get into in a, in a minute. But I use this as my leave-in conditioner. This is the bigger, the better. And it's by um, Jaded uh, Tamika of Jaded Tresses. And you can find this on curlprep.com. And I'm going to open it so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like down in the jar. And it's a kind of creamy but kind of waxy kind of at the same time product. It contains um, shea butter, goat's milk, wheat germ oil, olive oil, and marshmallow root and emulsified wax, vitamin E, fragrance, citric acid. So um, the first time I used it, I wasn't so, I wasn't such a big fan of it. But I think it had to do with the um, gel combination that I used. I used um, Eco Styler, which I'm gonna show next. Let me just wipe my hands. <laughs> I used um, Eco Styler, this clear gel Eco Styler. Um, because um, when Tamika did my hair, she ran out of her gel, so she mixed a little bit of her gel with the Clear Eco Styler. She only recommends the Clear Eco Styler with a little bit of water and a little bit of my oils, and it left my hair very dry. So what I decided to do today was I used my Beautiful Textures gel, and then I used a little bit of my Eco Styler mixture with the Ovia Naturals Curling Custard just to lay my edges down. And you can see my edges are pretty laid in the front. So I think I'm going to have a good washing. It feels like success. <laughs> um, I did use the lock method. I did use my liquid, which is the Alakay Naturals. I finished using it, so I have to pick up another one. I used the lemongrass spray as my leave-in like for the liquid. And for my oil, I used the... Sunny Isle oil and I really really have been enjoying using this oil. Um, it leaves my hair super shiny. Um, I would like to try out other products in my line, maybe like their shampoo or their conditioner because this product works so great um, at leaving my hair really um, shiny and hydrated. Mo very moisturizing oil. So That's another product I wanted to show you guys that I've been really enjoying. Now back to the bigger the better. I've only used this twice so I will do a full review on this once I use it at least four times. So I can really tell you guys what my thoughts really are on it but I wanted to show you guys um, this product. I will come back and do a review on this product for you guys once I use it at least four times and I will be able to tell you guys what my thoughts are on it. The next product that I wanted to share with you guys that I picked up is um, the Shea Moisture um, Baboa Tea Tree and um, the Tea Tree Oils and Low Porosity Shampoo. Um, I have been enjoying using this. However, I have noticed that my hair does need some kind of protein because of my hair is color treated. I've done this. I put this color in my hair. If you guys want to see how I did that, um, you can check that out on my website, KimberlyJoyMUA.com. I'll put a link in the description box to the article where I did um, my my hair, um, my hair color, my dye, and what I use. Um, so because of that, I do need some protein in my hair. And I did last week, I did a protein treatment of the uh, Joico K-Pack um, uh, Reconstructor um, Conditioner and the follow-up conditioner to it. But So what one thing I could say about this is it's very loose. It's very liquidy. Um, it doesn't strip my hair like a lot of the other shampoos by Shea Moisture. Um, it's hydrating. Um, the smell, it's okay. Um, kind of reminds me of the frankincense and mirth scent. A lot of the um, Shea Moisture products have a very masculine, musky smell to it. So sometimes it can be very overwhelming. But this, um, this, this scent does not linger in the shampoo. Okay, and I have three more products I want to show. The next product that I've really been enjoying is the Karen's Body Beautiful. Um, this is her conditioner. It is the Luscious Locks Hair Mask. I purchased this off of 
um, curlmart.com when they were having a, a beginning of the year sale and I also purchased one during Black Friday. I go through this so quickly. Um, it barely has any left in here and I've only used it twice. Um, I wish she sold this in a big jug of it. I would not purchase Karen's Body Beautiful products directly from her website. I usually purchase it from Cromart or I get it from Target when I'm in Target. And this costs about $24.99, but it works and it hydrates my hair. Um, hydration for my hair is super important because it's colored and um, moisture is very important if you want your hair to grow and have healthy growing hair. And the other conditioner, let me see if I can grab it. Hold on one second. The next conditioner that I've been really enjoying using is this one by Sultanicals. It is their Afrotastic um, Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treatment. I really like this. Um, I've only used it once. I used it last week when I washed my hair um, from the jug, like the gallon size like this, but I've purchased it many a times in the, the large container, the 16 ounce container. No, this is 32 ounces, I believe, yeah. So it's really super hydrating. It lets me detangle my hair when I have this in my hair. So I will purchase this again in the future. I purchased this, I got this for $27. It's normally like $47, I believe. She was having a beginning of the year sale. So I picked that up and that should last me a while. And what I realized when I used that conditioner is that I'm pretty heavy handed when using my conditioners. So I've realized that I need to use less. Less is more. And the last and final product that I enjoy using, and you guys, if you watch my tutorial on how I, um, how I, how I twist my hair, um, I use this as the leave-in, um, not leave-in conditioner, but my cream-based product. And this is what it looks like. It's a very medicinal smelling product, but it does work on my hair and it lays down my hair. And I could also use it if my hair is um, dry, I could use it as a pomade in my hair and I could use it all year round. So I really do like this and I've been enjoying using it. The only thing is, is that um, I've purchased this from Alec Naturals directly. Now I've purchased in the past the smaller size and that one was much more whip to me than this. This is very grainy. I don't know. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see this because my I'm filming using my, my phone. So let me know how you guys like this. I'm also going to film tomorrow using my camera. So we'll see which one works better. So these are just some new products that I've been using and I've really been enjoying. And I wanted to share that with you. Let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Nope, I think that's all it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.